I can hear the rain. Oh, it looks so miserable. A pair. It's just miserable. All done now, thank goodness, and we're having pancakes. Hurrah! Kind of a week off half. Oh, look. look. <laughs> Good morning, welcome to a new vlog. We didn't vlog last week, so I feel like we're ready. Well, I'm ready, are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> Mr. B. We are ready to start a new vlog. Had a week off last week. Kind of a week off half. Oh, look. A week off everything just to kind of regroup and reset um, I didn't really do that much but it was nice to just take that break and I feel like I really needed it just to kind of remind me like that I enjoy doing the work and I enjoy yeah creating content and I think just sometimes taking time off makes you appreciate it when you go back to it so yeah this week what's the plan I've got an event tomorrow evening with glossy box Wednesday night I'm meeting my friends for a meal which I actually need to book actually today we are getting back to it planning doing bits of content Tim's shooting some content now hence the fidgeting in the background um, and I'm gonna do a bit as well Got a spot right in the middle of my head. Where to go tomorrow? We're going to that pizza place. Pizzology. No, I, no, I can't draw. Oh, the, the Italian. Yeah, do you want to come? Shouldn't really. Shouldn't really. I know, but I was just thinking I'm just gonna have the pizza and nothing else. <laughs> We've been so naughty this past week, what just eating whatever we want. I think about half six. No. Why so not? What? So the football. Right. Um. So yeah, he's getting some content then I'm gonna shoot some content indoors because the weather is truly horrific like really not nice and it hasn't been for ages if you live in England you will know this but yeah it's it's not one for being outside it actually looks like it's stopped raining now but anyway let's put on we're putting on a playlist at the moment just to have on in the background this one's jazz jazz beats it's quite nice to just have on but I'm not allowed to show it because it's copyrighted anyway let's crack on done a mirror selfie in this mirror because the rain is so bad that I just thought I'll do my content inside from now on. So um, this is what I'm wearing. I want to share it with you because I've got these new jeans on from Everlane. In fact, I've still got the thing on so you can tell which ones they are. Here they are now. So these were very kindly sent to me by Everlane and they are the straight fit, cheeky jean, um, high rise, low stretch. Um, and they fit really comfortably. I even think, let's pull that out. I even think I could have perhaps sized down. Um, I went with the 10, oh, size 28. So I think that's about 10. But I think I could have mm, maybe sized down and they would have been a bit snug, but I think they're a little bit loose fitting, but they're actually really comfortable. And I just love the fit and shape of them. I just think they work so well. Um, they're such a good pair of jeans. You can just tell by putting them on how nice they are i can't i can't explain it but you can just tell that they're a really good pair of jeans they just fit really nicely really well fitted like really well shaped sort of thing um and i've just popped them on with my trench coat by sana ny and then this bag who's this bag by i can't remember act nation zara t-shirt um and then my converse and my my under the stories sunglasses with it so yeah, just a really nice casual look, actually. Big fan of this whole outfit, actually. But you'll probably see that on my Instagram. If you don't follow me on there already, it is at Lydia Jane Tomlinson. So it's kind of nearing the end of the day. It's like half three. So I've just kind of, I feel like I'm kind of wrapping things up for the time being. I've just um, edited some pictures that I need to edit. And we've decided to go to the cinema tonight. We're going to watch 19... Oh, that way. Tim's got the window open and it's so loud. So we're gonna watch, Let's see if we can put you amongst the cotton plants. Mm, bit wonky, but yeah, we've, we're gonna go and watch 1917 tonight. Uh, I think it starts at like seven because we've not 
been to see it yet and I think there's like a two for one offer on so we're gonna go and watch that which will be nice just so I think it's view cinema it's like right near us anyway so very handy I've just kind of spent the afternoon like editing pictures like I said also doing a little bit of research and I oh, did my nails before whilst I was sat at the desk because I thought it's the best time to do it and I've used this one by gel effect it was a pound a pound. I don't know whether I bought this or not, but it's actually really good. Yes, gel effect, long wear, one coat. Doesn't actually, oh yeah, in rouge. And then I put on top of it the Seche Vive top coat. But I thought whilst I was sat at my desk and just kind of editing on my phone, it's the best time to do it so that they dry. So yeah, that's the plan. I think we're gonna have just a chicken salad tonight because, oh, I've just realized I had used to be able to put my uh, camera on the shelf so when we were cooking you could see but never mind the mirror is there instead. I mentioned in my last vlog that we'd done a move around so if you want to see that go over there. So yeah that's that's what's going on. I might just kind of wrap up a bit maybe do it's quite good to do a bit of research. I'm just feeling a little bit uninspired at the minute especially clothes wise because it's not really it's not really a good time of year we have however just booked to go to barcelona in six weeks time which is so exciting it's like the week before easter so i'm really looking forward to that little trip to barca um, so hopefully some content will be coming there but yeah that's the plan and looking a bit pasty and not very nice but mind still using my glasses my key glasses oh i'll show you a new little bag that i've got in as well oh it's the wrong way around so this is from a brand called called lmr goods this is the thing that if you're in case you're interested but really nice affordable good quality leather bag so that is gorgeous it's got my initials on there but just like a really nice handy bag for every single day that you can use day in day out also you can take the straps off so you can use it as a little clutch bag really nice if you're going on a city break or something like that and just pop it on so yeah i thought that was really cute so yeah that's the plan i'll talk to you again in a bit chicken salad is in the making So what is it? Tandoori chicken. Tandoori chicken. Mm. Nice little salad. Cute. So we've had our salad and we're en route to the cinema now. So I'm just wearing basically a very cozy and comfy outfit. So I've got my leather joggers on, my Adidas trainers, Lovie's jumper, and then big oversized scarf from ASOS, which I absolutely love. Wear it all the time, definitely recommend. I'll try and link it. And then I'm gonna wear a big teddy coat over the top. It's so windy today, so I feel like I might require a hat, even though the cinema's about five minutes away. But yeah, I'm gonna go layered up. And I like wearing a teddy coat because I can always use it as a blanket when I'm there. And a scarf as well for the same reason. So let us go. I think Tim wants to go to Superdrug first, but yeah, I'm gonna take my new bag with me as well, I think. Bandits. See the world for whiskey glasses. So it's the next day and the film was so good last night. It was very emotional. Cried quite a lot throughout. Um, but yeah, it was it was really good. Definitely worth a watch if you've not seen it yet. It was just really well done. Um, so it's Tuesday now and we've just been filming this morning. It's been, it's been, it's been and gone, thank goodness, because it's not been that enjoyable. Um, it's been a little bit stressful, but it's all done now. I've enjoyed it. Have you? I always enjoy it. I didn't. Um, no, it's, it was fine, but it was just one of those things where you start to get stressed out anyway. All done now, thank goodness, and we're having pancakes. Hurrah! So I'm going out tonight to an event, um, which I'm eating at, so I won't be having pancakes tonight because it's pancake day. And so we decided we'll have a couple of pancakes for lunch. So we literally just got one of those pancake mixes. Yeah. <laughs> you know, keeping it basic. basic just bitches. Well, it's just easier to... Who can be bothered making them? That's it, what we're having on them. I like lemon and sugar, but we've also got some Nutella. Ooh, you know what would be nice? Nutella with some banana. Should I cut some banana up? Fruit. 
fruit. Yeah, sure. I don't think we've got any strawberries, have we? That's the pancake right there. That is the pancake, if you can see. That's the pancake. That's, that's where it came that's, out of. That's the mix, and it's from Tesco. Which it's not. Is it from Tesco? Oh, it was from Tesco. Oh, you said, did you add milk? No, I add water. Yeah, I know, it says that, but you were going on about milk. Yeah. This is the pancake that's shaped. It's a bit more like an omelette. The moon. Our mixture didn't last very long, so we made a fresh batch um, just from flour and eggs and milk, water. Flour when milk. I say we made a fresh batch, Tim made a fresh batch. Oh, is that hailstone? <clears throat> Ugh. So we're gonna get cleaned up now and then crack on with some work this afternoon, I think. I feel like a nap now, though. Shall we? <gasps> Shall we? That's so bad in the daytime. So that's the plan. So gals, I am ready for my event tonight. Lighting isn't the best here, is it? Honey bit, look a bit shiny. Um, it's just gone half six. I'm gonna go and meet Freya and then we're gonna go to the event. This is what I'm wearing. Let's do a mirror pick. So I've got my Zara camel blazer on, which you'll have seen a lot. My um, new Zara black belt, which I actually spoke about in my latest YouTube video. That, that should be up by now. Um, old Zara boots, Zara leggings. Oh, in fact, I'm wearing head to toe Zara tonight. Um, this is a Zara top and these are Zara earrings. A very, very Zara outfit, which was unintentional. I'm gonna take my Gucci bag. I just think it needs like an understated bag because the belt and the earrings are quite a lot going on. So yeah, this is the look. I don't know whether I explained what event it was. I'm actually going to King Street Townhouse with Glossy Box and Elemis. So they're like partnering up with Elemis. It, that's what tonight's event's about. Um, Freya is actually staying at King Street Townhouse. So I'm gonna pop and see her first and then go, but I think we've got like a Q&A talk. It's gonna blend whilst I speak. Yeah, we've got a Q&A talk, I think, um, beforehand, and then we've got like a three course meal, I think. Always really nice food at King Street Townhouse, so very much looking forward to that, because today I've just really had the nibbles, even though we've had pancakes. I just feel like I could eat and eat and eat. Anyway, I'm gonna probably head off now. Jar, warm it between your hands and start massaging it onto the skin. 
something that's so beautiful and unique. Yeah, just do your fingertips. You can start really working in over the skin. Walls, any dehydration in the skin as well. But they are beautifully encouraging that circulation around the eye area. So often our eyes can be quite congested. And we probably think, what do you mean your eyes can be congested? But, you know, sometimes you may wake up in the morning, it's quite dark and it just feels a bit tired and, you know, a little bit underneath the skin and, and you know, a bit of exfoliation, something's just not kind of cutting it. And that's because our eyes are tired, they're overworked, you know, and let's face it, we're all on our phones or laptops or screens, you know, straining the eyes sometimes. So this really helps that beautiful um, circulation around the eye. <music> day and had such a lovely night last night at the LMS event. We had a meal and then in the background there we got the glossy box LMS box. So I will show you inside later because I'm just heading out now. It's quarter past nine and I'm going to meet Freya because we're going to shoot some outfits. It's raining as per but I think it keeps stopping and starting. So I'm going to take a big coat and a big brolly and oh out of focus and hope for the best. So we're going to shoot a couple of outfits. I think we're going to try and shoot two because we've not shot together for a while because the weather has been just so horrendous. And then I might have a little wander around the shops en route back. I can hear the rain. Oh, it looks so miserable. I might take my big, big brolly. <sighs> just makes me not want to do anything in this weather. Anyway, that's the plan. So, just with Freya. Hello. Got splatter marks all over because it's been pouring wind for Calgary. We got caught in downpour. And we've had to shoot two outfits, which was um, tricky. Testing. Testing, but you know, spring is hopefully on and the we're horizon. And we finished shooting and the sun's come out. Oh, <laughs> Typical. Yay. It's so cold, I literally can't feel my hand. So I think we're gonna have to get a move on to whatever. Should we're gonna go to H&M. Should we go to the shop? Yeah, we said we might go a quick little browse. quick browse of H&M before Freya has to check out of the hotel. Oh, can we go? Can we go? Yeah. It's this way, H&M. No, it's here and then you go left. It's on the, oh, right. Yeah. Oh no, it's on the right. It's on the left, isn't it? No, I think it's on the right because Tesco's on the left. TK Maxx? No, surely not. It's not that high up. H&M is further down to the left to TK Maxx. Are you sure? Yeah, it is. TK Maxx yeah. is there. Yeah, it is, yeah. Oh, so maybe the other way is. Yeah, I know. I was thinking it was on I'm the right, right yet course. again. Yeah, <laughs> yet <laughs> again! <laughs> Always right. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Right, it's starting to rain again, so let's go. <laughs> apartment now and a little bit high up for me i've been here well i had a quick look in h&m didn't buy anything same in zara and then i headed home because to be honest the weather is just so grim and it was so cold the sun actually came out when we stopped shooting but it was just so cold and miserable that i just kind of you know and it just kind of really just makes you feel like i'm going like i don't want to do anything so um, I've come back and got a bit of work done and I don't even know what time it is now actually. 
I reckon it's about half two. I'm actually going out tonight, which I'm so excited about. I'm seeing my friends, Isabel, Lindsay and Sam, which have I think have they all been on the vlog? Yeah, they've all been on the vlog at some point in history. But Sam's, uh, he used to live in Australia and now he's back in England and then going to Canada soon. So this, I think this is gonna be, well, it is definitely gonna be the last time we see him before he goes to Canada. So we're going to, it's called Noir Quattro. It's N-O-I, I think, Quattro. Unless it's N-Q, no, Northern Quarter Italian. Maybe it's NQI. I don't know, but it's it's really close to where we live and it's the sister restaurant to the pasta factory, which is where we went on Valentine's Day, um, which was really nice, authentic Italian food. And this is the sister restaurant to it. So we're going there tonight. Um, I'll try and take you along with me actually, but it's just pizza, authentic pizza. So I've had a healthy lunch. I didn't have breakfast because I just felt so full from yesterday. I ate way too much. I felt so full, so kind of powered through to lunchtime, just had eggs um, with a bit of rocket. So I should be ready for my pizza later, which I'm very excited about. Anyway, I kind of came on here, that was a sidetrack because we'll do that later. I came on here to show you some goodies. So let's go through the Elemis box first. I love the colours that they went for. It was, well, obviously it's kind of matching the theme of the Elemis products, but it just was so kind of calming, nice blues. So the first we've got is the Pro Collagen Marine Cream, which she said you can use day and night. And she said like any kind of skin can use this. So she said she uses it and also her mum uses it as well. So the actual cream sort of adapts to your skin. So that's lovely, I love Elemis products. So nice. And then we've got the Anti-Aging Eye Mask, which I love eye masks because I get like, I don't really know if you can see, they're not dark circles, but they're like kind of lines. And every time I put an eye mask on, usually they seem to just kind of get rid of those for like a short time. So then we've also got the enzyme peel, which she said was really good for sensitive skin. So I'm excited about this because um, I've spoken about before my skin being really sensitive at the moment and I'm not really sure what it is, but she said even the most sensitive skin uses this and because it's, it, it says it's an, uh, uh, it says it's an exfoliator, but it doesn't have the exfoliating beads in, so you don't get that scrubby sort of feel, which is nice. So you apply it for 10 minutes and then rinse off with lukewarm water. And then we've got the Pro Collagen Marine Oil. She said if you're kind of 25 and above, that's when you should be starting to use um, anti-aging products, which I'm 25 in kind of just over a month's time, end of April. So maybe I need to start using small doses of anti-aging, but like preventative, not anti, not actual anti-aging. And then we've got the night cream, which is the pro collagen as well. And then something that I was really excited for was the pro collagen cleansing balm. It's just like that, like a balm, which is nice. I'm really excited to try that. They all smell so good. I mean, it's Elemis, so of course they do, but um, it was really nice to actually get a talk through from um, the Elemis expert last night and get to actually find out a bit more about the products because often we get sent things and we don't know that much about the product. We'll just use it and try it and if we like it, whatever. But um, this was nice because we actually found out about it. And then in other news, I got some products from Per. Per. I don't pronounce it Per, but is it Per? Somebody tell me. So we're, I got two of the skin perfecting powders and I've actually, I don't know if you can kind of see that. I've just put this one on. This is the most gorgeous shade. So this one is Blushing Act Matte Blush, which I absolutely love. I'm just gonna put it on my fingers for the moment, but this is such a pretty pink shade. And it's matte as well, which I much prefer but it's such a nice pink. Um, so what shade is this? M17. This is the paler one. Pretty in peach, that's what this one is. And then I've also got a dark one, which I've not tried yet, but this does look quite dark, but be interesting to try that. It's called Berry Beautiful, which is so lovely. And then I've got also Bronzing Act Skin Perfecting Powder, also from Pear. 
and get this out because I've not actually seen this yet. So it's in the cute little container again. I hate touching them because it gets finger marks everywhere. Ooh, that's nice. So it's like, um, ooh, yeah, it's like a, a nice matte, yeah, it's called matte, matte bronze light bronzing act and yeah it's like a really nice matte bronzing powder because i really don't like shimmery bronzers or things like that it's just not for me and then i also got an update on my per primer um the girls there know that i've been using this and i featured it in my um valentine's igtv makeup and it's so good four in one primer i use it every single day and yeah that's that also Another new in. Uh, let's have a look here. Let's get rid of those. Sometimes I have to get rid of the packaging because it just takes up a lot of room. And then I've got some pieces from a brand called Betty and Biddy. So I actually got stuff from them ages ago. Yeah, I've not had anything from them for a while, but they used to do such pretty like pom pom earrings. You know when those big three tier pom pom earrings were in? They did those and that's how I first kind of heard about the brand. So these are the first pair of earrings, which are very me. I feel like they know me very well. So they just sent me these randomly. So I'm gonna choose my kind of favorites. I'm sorry if you can hear the beeping outside, by the way. Um, and then there's this necklace, which is like a kind of like layering piece. So it's just like a little round thing. And then, oh, I love earrings like this. So they're like the tiered, sort of shape yeah, that you can that I like a hoop but a bit better than a hoop and then what have we got here some chains chain which again are really nice for layering so very excited to style these and yeah that's that's that so this afternoon I am going to be doing some more work I've got a YouTube video to finish off it is um like five things to buy right now and yeah, I feel really tired actually. I just feel a bit blah, but yeah, that's what I'm gonna do this afternoon. So this is my outfit for tonight. I'm in a bit of a rush, because I think Lindsay's just arrived, so I'm gonna quickly show you. So this is a new knit from Nasty Girl. It's kind of like that, it's not cut out, but it's got that kind of vibe going on. My Zara denim, slouch jeans, um, old boots and then my ASOS belt. So yeah, just nice and casual because I think it's just quite a casual place and I'll take you along with it. day I finished we finished at um Noir Quattro last night it was so good I was so full but it was really nice um definitely recommend going I had one of the pizzas on the specials and it was delicious and we all shared some chips and yeah it was really nice really nice vibe because it was so busy like there were two massive tables in I'd say about 20 maybe 20 each table and then there was also like, other tables in as well so it was really busy really good atmosphere quite chilled and yeah definitely recommend so today is today is thursday and it's kind of been just a work morning excuse the drying towels in the background and um, this is what i'm wearing but i feel like needs a bit of a steam so i've got this new coat on from naked fashion which again i think needs a bit of a steam but i'll try and link it where i can i've got my h and m jumper on not sure if this is still around but if it is i'll let you know um my white under the stories denim jeans nike technos and naked fashion bag so i'm going for an all neutral look today we're actually just nipping out we need a few bits and bobs nothing major but we thought we'd just get out of the house and get it done so that is what we're doing now good 
morning everyone. Friday morning and the last thing I vlogged was when we went, we just nipped out for a coffee and we ended up going to this vegan place called, what was it called? Vertigo, Vertigo I think. So we went there, had a bit of sourdough and hummus because we were starving and yeah it was really nice actually. So if you're near Sustreen Green which is mm, near the Royal Exchange um, then it's there so it's nice and easy, handy to pop in and quite a cute little cafe. This morning we're just nipping out to, well we cleaned all the house this morning and the weather is just so <coughs> depressing but we are nipping to get some breakfast because we thought we would treat ourselves to some breakfast this morning. Um, but I'm gonna have to wrap up, it's, it's just chucking it down. It's just miserable. Anyway, um, I'm gonna end the vlog here. I'm not gonna take you to breakfast with me because I don't know, I think it might be quite a long vlog. So, um, I'll see you in my next one. Um, my next video should be on Wednesday, fingers crossed. Um, and thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and what else? Oh, follow me on Instagram at Lydia Jane Tomlinson. And yeah, I'll see you soon.